Welcome to the Sage Thought Leadership Podcast, building experiences that connect, remove friction, and deliver insights. Well, hi, everyone, and welcome to our podcast. I'm Ed Kless, and with me today is John McCartney. With more than 20 years of PR and marketing experience, John has led traditional public relations and social media campaigns for technology, advertising, marketing, and media brands. He achieved his lifelong dream of starting his own company, JMAC PR, to build a business that values people. In addition, John looks to create an environment that nurtures the next generation of publicists and marketers who are committed to their enduring visions and values, which will make a meaningful impact on the industry. John is also very active in the public relations community, having several leadership roles in PR trade associations. Welcome to the Sage Thought Leadership Podcast, John McCartney. Hi, Ed. Thank you so much for having me on. So first off, John, why do you do what you do? Uh, why do I do what I do? I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a number of different reasons. Um, you know, one, um, so I started my business three years ago, um, sort of, um, at the beginning of COVID, uh, just started my business as a PR freelancer. And, um, but through sheer grit, uh, my business started to grow and scale to the point where I needed to hire people, um, which is a good problem to have. And, and now that I have a small business, um, I'm at a place where I recognize sort of my responsibility um, to my team. And one of, the, one of them is that um, I'm a teacher. Um, I'm here to teach and coach my team. Um, the, some of them are breaking into the industry. And I feel it's my responsibility to sort of show them um, best practices for, for doing things the right way in the work and industry that we are involved in. Um, and, and also to provide, um, a, a, an environment, a culture here where, um, we do place, uh, precedence on workplace wellness. Um, you know, just making sure that my team, um, has the headspace to do the work, um, that we're all tasked to do, um, especially in a post COVID world, especially with a lot of distractions and more focus on mental health and wellness. I think it's important for business and business leaders to uh, lean into making sure that uh, their team um, um, is feeling good about themselves. Um, And also the other part of why do I do what I do is I want to help my team and others in my circle be better versions of themselves. And talk a little bit about the the future of public relations. What do you see as some of the emerging trends and technologies? For sure. You know, I think, um, you know, PR has gotten more fragmented um, because of the different channels uh, vis-a-vis social media and so forth. Um, But at the end of the day, I always tell people that PR is about storytelling. You know, we're in the business of telling stories. We're in the business of working with our clients to tell their story and their narrative um, and uh, the people that we primarily work with are journalists and people in the media. Um, and it's our job to sort of sell our client stories. But yeah, because of where we're at from a PR standpoint, um, as far as where it sits in the media landscape from an earned standpoint, um, you know, I look at the future of PR being more integrated. Um, you know, I think PR will always stay true to its earned media aspect, but I do believe that, you know, there will be a future where PR becomes more integrated, where um, you're looking at campaigns that will encompass other facets of the media landscape. So how do you incorporate um, paid media into your PR program? How do you incorporate social media into your PR program? How do you incorporate owned media into your PR program? Um, That sort of falls under the peso model umbrella of paid, earned, social, and owned, uh, which is um, something that I believe in um, as far as how the best campaigns really Uh, stand out is when you have all four of those elements working together. Um, So so that's sort of where I see the future of PR um, headed. So talk a little bit about the technology side, especially with regard to how does, uh, I mean, paid or social and social media and and public relations, how do they come together? 
What's the distinction sure. between those things? Yeah. So what, what, how I see, um, see that playing out. So, um, you know, on one aspect, you have the, the sort of PR team working uh, one-on-one with members of media to try and uh, sell our client stories um, for earned media coverage. So what I like to sort of say is that once that sort of story is published, then you have options to really extend the life cycle of that story and article. So I would look to amplify it from a paid media standpoint. Um, I would look to uh, 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 I would look to get some engagement or grow our clients' community um, by placing that piece of article or content um, in our clients' social media channels. And then I would take a look at that sort of piece of earned media coverage and see how do we sort of follow that up with. And maybe that would include sort of um, um, a a thought uh, leadership uh, piece from our client's executive um, on a industry topic that sort of speaks to that piece of coverage and then have that, you know, create it as an own media content that could live on our client's uh, blog um, or publish to their LinkedIn page. But um, that's sort of where um, I see the mechanism sort of happening um, for how, you know, you could sort of take PR into these different channels. Yeah, it's a good distinction between the two. And just uh, getting back just to the technology side, is there something that's, I, I don't know, the, the something that's specific, a technology that's specific to PR? Just curious. Uh, you know, I think um, there are a couple of vendors that, us in the PR industry use that it is very valuable. And, you know, I'll give uh, plugs to vendors like Muckrack. Um, they're a, um, um, a very good platform that provides a number of different resources, like a database to look up contact information for members of the media, or the ability to build your lists, or the ability to um, uh, be able to automate uh, sending out outbound uh, pitches um, or even monitoring. So I think Muckrack is one vendor that I would give a plug to. Um, you know, Cision's another uh, vendor that also provides that level of service. Uh, different uh, news wires. Um, uh, the one that we prefer is a company called uh, Globe Newswire. Um, and um, you know, from a, and also from a media monitoring standpoint, I mentioned Muckrack. Another vendor that we like to use is uh, is called Critical Mention. And John, we have an exit question that we ask all of our guests, and that is, who is a hero of yours, and why are they a hero? You know, Ed. Um, before we started the taping, um, you asked me this question, and um, I was sort of uh, unsure who I could choose uh, because there's so many people in my journey that have had a profound effect on me. Um, And it's really hard for me to pick one person that I would say would be my hero. But as I thought about this question more so, um, the one person that I arrived at that I would say would be my hero would be my mom. Um, She, you know, I don't know she's heard this before, but um, you know, she, uh, you know, raised me and my my siblings as a single parent. Um, she worked seven days a week um, to try and put food on the table. And I think uh, that was sort of planting the seeds for me to adopt that working hard, you know, doing what you can to put food on your table. Um, and so, yeah, I would say my mom's the hero. And lastly, John, how can somebody get a hold of you? Uh, yes, um, John at jmacpr.com, or you can visit our website at www.jmacpr, that's J M A C P R.com, or you can look me up on LinkedIn. John McCartney, thanks so much for being a guest on the Sage Thought Leadership Cup podcast. Thank you so much, Ed. Review and subscribe by searching your podcast player of choice for Sage Thought Leadership Podcast.